Hello everybody, this is lecture 7 of the measurement and instrumentation uh, course. Uh, today we will speak about the sensor technologies. Uh, sensor technology, if, uh, first of all, we have something, three definition, transducer, sensor and actuator. Transducer uh, meaning that I have something that I want to convert from one energy form or form of energy to another, from, for example, from thermal uh, to uh, a mechanical or from mechanical to electrical or from uh, electrical to uh, uh, optics so uh, this is what meaning by a device that make this uh, transition uh, transition from one form of energy to another sensor this meaning that's a quantity of physics or a quantity uh, physical quantity and i can uh, uh, measure it or i can uh, 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 convert it to electrical uh, quantity the output is electrical actuator is the uh, reverse uh, way so I have uh, a quantity in electric electrical uh, voltage for example and the output will be the physical quantity mechanical uh, optic whatever so this is what meaning by these three devices uh, as you know our uh, the human body have three uh, five uh, different type of sensors the eye the tongue the noise the skin uh, so you use these uh, uh, devices or sensor to sense the uh, the, uh, the the nature around ourselves and it's very sensitive uh, and have a very uh, large of a uh, resolution uh, to each one each device can our sensor can do uh, act work on a specific physical quantity uh, the convers uh, conversion uh, methods uh, including the physical quantity from thermal to electrical as i said or magnetic to electrical the chemical properties also the chemical transport or physical transformation from electrical to chemical or others uh, or vice versa biological uh, property for physical transformation or biological transformation the sensor are widely used in system control without the use of sensor there is no automation so it's everywhere in cell phone, cellular telephones in radio in automobiles uh, in plants so we use it everywhere there is uh, for example here if there is acoustics the sound waves the sound it's uh, in quantity we can make uh, we see it as a waves and spectrum wave velocity biological and chemical float fluid uh, concentration gas or liquid electrical meaning that uh, I uh, measure charge voltage electrical field uh, magnetic this meaning that magnetic field and flux permeability optical meaning that's the light the refractive index reflectivity thermal temperature flux thermal conductivity heat mechanical meaning that position velocity acceleration force stress pressure torque this is what in the quantities that I or the physical quantities that uh, I, I can uh, measure or I can acquire now there is a physical principles ampere law for example a current carrying a conductor in a magnetic field experience a force for example a query with law uh, there is a transition uh, in temperature from because in the, at uh, the ferromagnetic material which is exhibit, exhibit uh, paramagnetic behavior Faraday law of induction here is uh, related to the coil the coil resists a change in the magnetic field by generating a voltage or a current so uh, the, the photo uh, conductive effect meaning that if there is a light uh, embankment on a semiconductor material there is a resistance of the material decrease or increase uh, so how I can choose the sensor I have different factors in environment in economic and sensor characteristics uh, that I have to uh, put in mind when I choose a sensor or a design a one classification of the sensors classification uh, mean can be classified to in the uh, according to the uh, information 
propositive uh, sensor for example the motor uh, speed the heading of the robot the battery status uh, extra extra uh, uh, sensor intensity of the light or uh, unique features maybe i can measure uh, according to the uh, energy emission for example passive sensor work without any uh, using an, uh, energy out inside temperature props or microphones active uh, sensor working like controlled interaction there is uh, uh, like the radar for example it's uh, sending a signal and uh, waiting for the reply okay now uh, for example we will see some examples uh, briefly uh, because this is uh, in this course you would know uh, how it work in uh, brief uh, not in very uh, details for example motion sensor for example here we have the uh, potentiometer which is here you just move the uh, this uh, box and then you change the connect over the resistive element and then you you have a change in the uh, on the uh, value of the resistance uh, here this is a displacement sensor as there is a displacement there is a change in the voltage uh, uh, the, okay uh, the strain gauge the strain gauge as you see it's uh, measuring the stress or motion or pressure uh, as there is something or a resistance of the sensitive uh, element change when we apply some strain the resistance of the sensing element here the resistance uh, the electrical resistance which of course there is applied voltage if there is a change in the resistance then there is a change in the voltage uh, for example there is a temperature sensor temperature sensor uh, this is not a the, there is this here a uh, bimetallic strip the application make the makes or break the electrical connection uh, with deflection uh, temperature sensor temperature sensor resistance temperature it's uh, changed uh, according to the temperature change of that uh, resistance that is, this is our resistance change according to the change this is the reference uh, temperature and the, the change here it changed the total resistance and of course you can measure the resistance uh, thermistor, thermistor or thermal resistor this is what you see in the uh, uh, around us thermocoupling it's a temperature difference uh, uh, having a difference in the voltage uh, capacitive uh, transducers the capacitive transducers uh, there is a, a two blades and these two blades is moving uh, over each other so the the capacitance change accordingly as the area because the c the capacitance is equal to epsilon r epsilon a, a zero a over d so the distance between both of them and the area as you change this distance and the area you change the total capacitance epsilon r epsilon zero is the permittivity of the air and the permittivity of the material the dielectric material between each one of them accelerator accelerator used to measure the motion the vibration the blast impact shock wave uh, accelerator work as a uh, yes uh, as there is a um, a, vi a vibration object here and this object uh, push or uh, uh, move down or up the mass here which is there is a displacement transducer here and then you can uh, measure this uh, displacement uh, ac there is a, a different type of accelerators uh, according to the application and other uh, consideration a capacitive accelerator piezoresistive accelerator thermal accelerator uh, accelerator application is everywhere for example you use it in the automotive in the vehicle to uh, read the speed or the acceleration the aerospace the sport or gaming the personal electronic cell phone digital devices security 
gyroscope it's measuring the orientation uh, according to a, vis a physical or a mobile of a mobile system uh, mechanical gyroscopes this is as uh, a gyroscope it's uh, measuring if you change the direction or change the spinning of the or of a rotor uh, of a motor for example global position system global position system is used uh, gps which is we know everywhere it's used to uh, locate somebody it's using a six uh, or f uh, six or four uh, a, a satellites there is a 24 satellite every, uh, around the earth and they covering uh, they are at height a 20.190 kilometer so you use four satellites to locate your device for example or something that there is a GPS inside it is like this for example this is a car you use uh, four satellites signal it's receiving signal from four satellites and it measuring the uh, the distance and measuring the uh, uh, the theta or the angle here to locate the device this is a uh, the, the the end of the lecture i am asking you in one question uh, to uh, explain briefly a uh, four um, a sensor or four devices that i uh, mentioned briefly today explain how it work explain uh, a, a, how you can use it or in application for example one example for each one of them uh, to learn about uh, these sensors uh, of course, the sensor, uh, uh, the implementation of these sensors is uh, out of the scope of this uh, course. Uh, but uh, you have a hint about uh, what you measure and how you measure it, and what is the devices that you use for the measurement. And uh, this is will help in the uh, measurement uh, work or the uh, calibration of this that device. Uh, that you know how it works okay thank you for listening